Thank you so much for all your support. You guys have been really, really great. Um, you know, from the very beginning, my Leo videos have always gotten a decent amount of views. Even when they're small amount of views, they always get more than the other videos. So I just always appreciate um, how much my Fire Collective comes through for me on this platform. And we are growing. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a crystal reading for you guys, a crystal love reading. So it's going to be the typical love reading only with my crystal deck involved and my box of crystals. And I'm going to pull a crystal for each person um, and pull some crystal cards. But um, if you want a personal reading, you can find that info in the description box below. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff um, if you haven't already. And if you have, again, I really appreciate you. All right, Leo, what's coming through for my Leos um, in love and what crystals will be most beneficial for my Leos coming up? Uh, you can find, I read for everybody in my wellness center, by the way, and you can also find discount codes for the Green Witch Home. So if, uh, you know, any of the crystals I mentioned uh, today, you might be able to find them on her website. So, all right, let's see. Dear Father God, ooh, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space. So mo it be. All right, I like triple shuffled these cards in between the Aries reading and this reading and some of the same cards are falling out. The Aries and Leo readings are always mixed up for me. Ooh, stag who are you spying on, Leo? <laughs> That's right. I'm a Leo rising, guys. No shade. Uh, someone you care about. There's someone that you really, really care about here, Leo, who has taught you a lot about yourself. And has, and I do, I am getting even, it's not just the spy kid cod there, Leo, but also just like, it's a lot of energy. Um, just a lot like of you needing to set your sights higher on where you want to go here. You know, manifest the best option here. Connect with your emotions. That was hard to pick up. <laughs> Connect with your emotions right now. Um, I'm getting maybe even uh, spiritual baths may be really helpful. There's something I do on a regular basis. And they may really help my Leos transition out of Leo season and into Virgo season. Um, don't be afraid of anything. You, you know, how you feel is valid. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot to be scared of right now. Don't give in to fear. That's the biggest part here. Uh, know that, like, you know, Leo's love with all their heart. They're the most heart-centered of all the, the Zodiac. So I'm not surprised this one came flying out. Make sure you're doing something that really feeds your soul. Okay? Whoa. Medicine Guardian. This person definitely has a strong inner knowing about you, Leo. Definitely has a strong inner knowing about the world. The universe is very, very smart. Uh, and they've been planting seeds too. They're hoping to grow. They're hoping to uh, do, do more, I'm getting, than what they're even doing now. And they may already do a lot. Wow. They definitely want to exchange energy with you, Leo, somehow. And it may happen more in the uh, fall time. The fall may be a time when, when this person comes through to you. They also may need some more rest right now. And I know that's definitely true for me. Like I've been needing, I need more rest right now. I may not even be able to get to Saggy's reading. Uh, both of you are going through really big changes. So take things slow. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, be as empathetic as possible. Uh, you may have some water in your chart, Leo. Uh, this person definitely, I'm getting really strong air sign vibes with this crow. But this medicine mother has a lot of earth energy to her as well. So we'll see. Oh, crystal, crystal deck. Let's not forget the crystal deck. All right, what crystals are going to be most beneficial for my Leos right now? Ooh, Rhonda Christite. I don't even know if I say that right, but this one's pretty abundant. Hard to spell, hard to say, easy to find. Um, with the Page of Cups energy with this, this is a really good um, heart stone. I use it, um, you know, in my heart chakra uh, healings and also in my overall um, 
healings. We do have an upper heart and a lower heart chakra as well. So, you know, you can use that in conjunction with other heart chakra uh, crystals. Um, I, I am getting that that crystal, ooh, black tourmaline. This is one, I mean, I keep it right here. It's everywhere in my house. Um, highly, highly protective. Make sure you are protecting yourself. Now, I know I said don't be afraid of anything, but also understand that you have to be smart about that and, and protect yourself against any lower energies and do what you got to do. That's a very strong root chakra crystal. I use that or obsidian every single day of my life. <laughs> it's a crystal that I keep on me. Um, obsidian right now is a big one. But um, tourmalines in general, green, brown. Um, I don't have any green right now. I did have a piece of green. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but I love my brown tourmaline as well. But black tourmaline has been one of those crystals that has just been such a huge part of my life for so long. Everyone should have black tourmaline. Um, seven of cups. Whoa, you might be a little sapphire. Whoo, big money though. Um, if you have any sapphire jewelry, I'm getting some of my Leos may even have sapphire jewelry they inherited from uh, family members, like old jewelry. That's always really nice. But sapphires are very, very expensive. So any other blue, darker blue crystal that's a little more abundant, like Lapis would be helpful. Um, Sodalite uh, is another darker blue crystal because sapphire is very, very expensive. So I can't say just go out and buy yourself some sapphires guys you know in the middle of a pandemic when half the country's out of work uh but lapis and sodalite are very very um affordable and any blue crystals are helpful for my fire signs because they help chill us out um, i'm also getting blue lace agate for some reason and that is a light blue but that's also a blue crystal that I find very, very helpful personally. Ooh, moss agate for your person. Four of swords. Your person definitely needs some grounding with that moss agate. Moss agate's very easy to find. Um, and it's a grounding stone. It's a heart chakra stone. It's, it's really, I love moss agate, actually. And it reminds me of dendric ag agate. Um, and dendric agate... Um, also known as Merlinite, is something that's my absolute, I think, my favorite stone of all kind. Um, you can see a huge, in the thumbnail of this video, you'll see a huge piece of dendric agate or Merlinite. I call it Merlinite. Um, in, the, in the thumbnail, it's a big hunk of it. Um, Queen of Cups, wow, gem silica. I've never seen this crystal anywhere. So I am going to recommend turquoise or actually Amazonite. Um, or even an inventorine. I've never seen gem silica. And so this deck can be um, a struggle to read. Any, again, another, a green stone, green, green. So lots of heart chakra healing for your person. Any green stones. I'm getting Amazonite, and I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, very strongly. Um, I'm also getting um, green inventorine. Either one of those are going to be very helpful for your person. It'll help them uh, get in touch with their emotional side more. Ooh, citrine. Beautiful. Five of coins. Five of pentacles. So this person definitely may be having some... Um, ooh, I'm getting itchy on my rib cage. Interesting. Um, five of coins is, you know, lack mentality. Someone who is having some possible um, money issues, which may explain why they need the green and they may need to up there. I have a little piece of a citrine point right here, actually, so for uh, money manifestation. So, you know, where I work, citrine's a very wonderful crystal. I also do use a piece of, there's a piece of it in here, um, but citrine is often sold um, under the guide, like, so a lot of times you'll see citrine that's actually heat treated amethyst. So be very careful. Cit real pure citrine is actually a little more expensive. Um, you can see that the citrine in this is translucent and the more milky citrine is usually the, um, advent, um, sorry, the, uh, amethyst that's heat treated. All right. Three of swords. Wow. Amazonite. I mentioned this. Wow. We, all right, yeah, your person definitely needs Amazonite. See that? Definitely have them get that because they have to deal green, 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 
crystals all over your person. So whatever green crystals you can find. just. But Amazonite came out so strongly, even with this gem silica, and then it came out. I love it. I love when Spirit does that for me. Ooh, Labradorite! This is one of my all-time favorites, too. Merlinite, Labradorite, Selenite, Black Tourmaline. I think those are my four faves of all time. Um, everybody should wear Labradorite. It helps transmute negative energy, and there's nothing more important than uh, transmuting negative energy right now, especially for my fire signs. We're the best at it, so let's do it, guys. You know? Um, all right. Woo! Woo-wee! My magicians. Uh, the magician came out really heavy on the Aries reading for the Aries person, and so did Leo. Um... So you could be dealing with an Aries, but you manifest, okay? But do it logically. Be, you know, and I would be very careful where this Nine of Wands here with this Black Tourmaline and this, this Queen of Swords, you've got to be very careful who you let in because I think there are people who cause a lot of confusion for you, Leo. So just be discerning about who you let in and who you don't. Uh, this Queen of Swords, she, you could have dumped this person too, Leo. This could have been someone that you manifested and then dumped. Ouch. Um, that's hard. I mean, maybe you manically manifested this person. But yeah, you need to find more balance when it comes to your manifestations. Make sure you're manifesting only what you truly want. And that means knowing what you truly want. Okay, Leo, so that's the biggest part for you is know yourself. You definitely could have strong Libra in your chart. I was getting air sign on this side, but now you've got Justice and the Queen of Swords over here, Gemini and Aries energy with this Magician. Uh, although, like I've said before, a Magician could be any sign. Um, but find balance here. Yeah, there was definitely a breakup between you and this person. You're no longer speaking, but you still very much care about this person. And I do think you want to find balance. I do think there was some third-party energy here. This came out for Aries reading as well. Um, or this breakup happened because of a third party of any kind. It could have been work. It could have been, you know, anything. But it could have been a person too. And... That's not easy, Leo. It's definitely not. And because of this, you may have missed a really good opportunity or feel like you're going to miss an opportunity if you continue to let this third party energy interfere. So Leo, cut it out. Cut the third parties out, Leo. That's the best advice here that I'm seeing. Use that sword. Look at this. These both, both Justice and the Queen of Swords have a sword. Use it. Cut the third parties out. It's time. Because you're missing opportunities because of it. And it's not helping, you know? So um, don't, don't be afraid to clean it up, Leo. Big time in your life. Because I think these people are turning you from a queen or a king to a page here because they cause a lot of confusion. And there's someone else here who's grieving the loss of you somehow, feeling really out in the cold by you. And I think they can see a future with you. Um, I do think that they, they, this person does understand that they have brighter days ahead. I do see that. Although despite all these cards up here, page of wands, they know that they're just starting out. Oh, I shuffled these cards like crazy. Here's the, the, High Priestess, these are a lot of the same cards that came out for, just came out for Aries. So whoever you're dealing with is someone who is highly intuitive, um, very, very creative, but feeling like they're just starting out in this creative endeavor. They have wishes fulfilled coming in and they have a lot of healing. And I think sometimes because of the third parties that happened here, they may be defensive against you, Leo, in a, a little bit. Because they're afraid that they've come really far here. And they, I think they're afraid that if they do something differently, that is going to mess things up. Um, Leo, I do think you may have hurt this person. So, I mean, 
Don't expect them to come to you right now. Or this person may have hurt you with third parties and that's why you're over here like, I'm done. But this person does seem pretty, pretty special. So be careful of demonization. You know, let's not like, yeah, because there's hurt on both sides here. No doubt. Ooh, heavy reading, Leo. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, your person does get defensive, and I think that's what, that's, I mean, but they are high priestess. They know what they know, you know, and they're not telling you, though. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Um, this person has, still has some healing to do, too. We all do, though. Ooh, the lovers, you feel a soulmate connection to this person, Leo. And that's why I think you feel like you're missing out on opportunities um, with this person or afraid to. Interesting. Oh, Leo. Um, strong air sign energy. Knight of Cups. And I think you might feel like you have to say sorry to this person or that you or they may owe you an apology because they got really defensive i'm not sure which one um you let me know please but there has to be some kind of emotional expression and i think it has to come from leo at this point but yeah you feel really trapped holy crap this is the aries reading i shuffled these cards like crazy and the eight of swords came out for an aries person out of a different deck i believe but Julio, okay. Um, you feel you have a really hard time expressing yourself emotionally sometimes. And I know, I think it's because you've been hurt. Try and see it from a different perspective. Try and like, you know, honor your own inner knowings and honor, you know, who you are. Know that you're a good person, Leo. Yeah, and you have second chances coming in. Just try and see things differently. Try and be patient. This is Pisces and uh, Mars energy. So Aries and Scorpio as a reader for me. But I do think that see things differently. You're not nearly as stuck as you think you are, Leo. Okay? Uh, that's important. Um, while this person does get defensive, I do sometimes think that they might have had reason to. And, you know, recognizing where you might have gone wrong would be really helpful, I think. Michael. Ooh, King of Cups. Yeah, this person is not talking. But they are hurting a little bit. Leo energy on this side. They are not letting you know how, how they really feel. Um, but they do very much care about you, too. So while you have the lovers here, this King of Cups does tell me that they love you unconditionally, Leo. There's no doubt. Um, even when they do get defensive. And yeah, I think they would be open. They're holding back um, an offer of commitment for some reason or another. And I think it may be because you're not opening up. So they have to hold back. And someone's going to have to break the ice here. Ooh. Oh, okay, yes, this person absolutely is motivated to end this cycle of sadness with you. Um, I do think eventually this person will will reach out and, and talk to you about everything that went down. They just got to figure out how because they have like something holding them back big time. I think a lot of it is this pain from the past. So this person has to move past it. Healing, 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 wish fulfillment everywhere. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. I'm itchy on my ribs big time for some reason. I don't know what that means. All right. It's best advice for Leo here. Best advice for Leo. Best advice for Leo. Ooh, changes. Okay, accept the changes gracefully. Definitely, you know, understand that um, as a fixed sign, Leo, it can be very hard for you to change, you know, but just know that big changes are coming in for you and growth, huge changes in growth. So 
you know, be real discerning about who you let in right now, but also, you know, try and be open to what's for you. Be open to only what's for you, Leo. Uh, complications. This person, yeah, this person is still dealing with a lot of pain that I think they need to let go of or something that maybe you did that, that they need to let go of. The Oracle, they are get, they do feel, they, this person is very psychic. Your person is extremely, extremely psychic, Leo. And I think they, they are aware of so much more of what's going on than I think you realize. So try and give this person a little more credit. There will be celebration in the end of this. This didn't happen for no reason. All right, what crystals? Ooh, oh my God, this is, um, this is for the crown chakra. Oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. That's terrible. Um, oh my God. It's for the crown chakra, another green crystal. I'm gonna pull another one. Why the name is escaping me. I can't do another reading. I can't because I'm just so tired. Ooh, hematite. Yeah, look at this big mother hunk of hematite. Highly protective crystal, Leo. So make sure you get some really protective crystals. Oh my God, uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah something, Seraphine? I don't remember, but this is, get any crown chakra crystals, crown and root, okay? Because you need protection right now, Leo. There's no doubt about that. All right, what about your person? I can't believe I am drawing a blank on the name of that crystal. I'm so mad at myself. Oh, that was the same one that came out for earrings. I don't want that. Because I just, I just don't. Alright, ooh, root chakra crystal. Alright, red jasper. Beautiful. I cannot tape another reading. I am wasted. Not wasted as in drunk, but just wasted as in tired. So sorry, Saji, you're not getting a video. Root chakra, red jasper. This person definitely needs to feel more grounded and rooted. So, anyway, I really hope you guys like these crystal readings. I'm mad that I forgot the name of two of the damn crystals I have. They're very, they're more rare. Um, and I will grab my book next time. I love you guys, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Just know that you have some huge changes that are going to lead to growth here. And, you know, just let your person deal with whatever it is they got to deal with. This will come back together at some point. There's no doubt because there is a connection here. I'm just, I'm not willing to throw a timeline on it because there's way too many people. But just know that divine timing is here and just keep being patient. All right? All right, Leo. I love you guys. Have a great day.